So there lies a missile trooper, which fires its rocket and proceeds to reload very slowly. Tired of using slow and clunky rockets? Introducing handheld explosives. Oh, the Grenadier is basically a cheaper version of Missile Trooper, and yet it is more expensive to unlock for some reason. So, how do we make use of this tower? First off, the Grenadier has very pitiful range, especially in comparison to other explosive towers. And the artillery basically makes the Grenadier's range a joke. Because of this, you should place it close to the paths and in around corners to maximize its low range. You should also place it close to the entrance in most maps, as that is where enemies usually start clumping up. Also, you can place the tower at wave 1, no matter which game mode, which lets you do anything else. The first two top half upgrades will allow the Grenadier to throw its grenade faster, but the rest of top half upgrades just give more damage and also stealth detection. Yeah, top half just gets more damage. However, bottom half is where things get interesting. While the first two bottom half upgrades just give more damage, when you get to the third upgrade, the grenades can now stun enemies. And further upgrades will basically hold enemies for far longer. Oh, what the fuck? However, keep in mind that bottom part of grenadiers can only hit a limited number of enemies, so you can't keep enemies stun locked for very long. So, what can we get from this? Well, an easy and elite, a base level grenadier can one shot early game enemies. However, an intermediate and expert, base level grenadiers are not enough. So you will need to get the first bottom path upgrade to one shot early game enemies. In the early to mid game, having 2 2 grenadiers would be ideal, along with a few DPS towers mixed with it. Top path grenadiers are very useful at killing hidden enemies, especially once they come up for the first time. However, in the late game, those Grenadiers are less useful than most other crowd control towers. So keep that in mind. Bottom path Grenadiers, on the other hand, are very useful in the late game. Specifically in Expert and Endless, it can potentially save you from a lot of situations. I highly recommend that you get max bottom path Grenadiers after you have late game TPS towers, and put different targeting options for each Grenadier, so that the stun grenades don't just target one specific enemy. Oh, and of course, stun grenades do nothing against major bosses. Anyways, have fun!